Hello Royal Revealers. Stay tuned while I show you guys how to make homemade pasta. <laughs> cups of flour, bread flour. Now what I learned while um, learning how to make pasta, if you use bread flour, it makes for a better consistency, a bouncier noodle. Okay, so you have a teaspoon of salt, and what I'm going to do is take, the, take these three eggs, I'll create the well in this flour. And I'm going to crack these three eggs in there. So you got four cups of flour. Three eggs. And you're not going to need all this water. Now basically, what you're going to need the water for is, you know, you just put a little bit in there. At a, uh, just a little bit. So that's probably about probably about like a, about a tablespoon, but you're not going to need a lot. So, and this is, this is very oddly satisfying, just to pop the like that. But, you going to mix it all in, and then your flour, your uh, dough is going to actually seem dry, but while you making this stuff, you got to have patience. But you just got to keep kneading it until it comes to a uh, smooth consistency. Okay? So I'm going to do this. And when we come back, I'll show y'all what this still look like. And I will let you guys know if I had to add any more or any how much. Okay, y'all. I just wanted y'all to see what this looked like. Now, what I did remember is that it's actually one egg to every one cup of flour that you use. Okay? So, I added another egg in and another tablespoon of water. So, basically what you're going to be doing if you follow this recipe... You're going to be doing four cups of flour, four eggs, two tablespoons of water. Or you could you could leave the water out completely and probably drop another egg in. But, you know, you might have to add flour. But adding the water in actually helps. So you don't have to use another egg. But y'all see how the dough is looking. It's going to be dry, but you have to be patient really patient making pasta because your dough is going to seem it's going to be like dry it's going to feel dry but you have to keep kneading the dough you have to keep kneading it so it can become smooth otherwise your pasta not going to turn out right you might end up getting dumplings or something especially if you don't roll it out thick enough thin enough I'm sorry so I'm going to actually let this rest and then I'm going to knead it some more because the gluten actually has to relax. It's just like making a uh, bread, you know, but different. It's drier. So I'm going to roll this up into a ball and let this rest 
and then I'm going to start kneading it again. And then I'm going to show y'all what the dough look like afterwards, and then we're going to roll it out, and then I'll show y'all how to cut it up into uh, pasta. Okay, so I got this to the consistency that it's supposed to be, and it was still going to look like it's, you know, just... It's still gonna look kind of weird, but you just want it to be combined. So I'm gonna get a closer look at that. See, this is what you want it to look like. But when you let it rest, see how it's cracked because I didn't cover it up. But it's not gonna uh it's not gonna mess up the pasta. So I'm gonna turn it over so you can see what it's supposed to look like. This is what it's supposed to look like. See how much smoother it is. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is fold it over this way. And then I'm going to fold this. And then I'm going to fold this, you know, to get it into like a, you know, a rectangle. Then I'm going to turn this over. Now, unfortunately, I have to get a new rolling pin. So I'm going to settle for this. So you want to roll it out. Okay, so roll this out. So it would be a lot easier and a lot quicker if I had my rolling pin. But the goal is to get it as thin and as wide as possible. Make sure all these little crumbs like this, these little hard crumbs, make sure they don't come in contact with your already made dust. So you can get rid of this so you can scrape it. I'm not going to scrape my table because I don't want it to get scratched up. So I just move it to the side. So I'm going to roll this dough. And basically what I'm going to do now, once I roll it, is I'm going to cut it into sections. So, I'll be right back. I'm about to go get a knife. Okay, so y'all started cutting it. You want to cut your pieces. And it's smooth. But you want to cut them into pieces so it's easy to work with when you start to roll it out. And being that I don't have a pasta maker, this will actually make it easier for me. I'm going to cut them up like this and you can use this dough right here. You can use this dough and roll it out thin enough to make wonton wrappers and everything. You can make lasagna with it. Any kind of pasta you like you can make with this dough. So I'm gonna start with these. Ooh. A little bit more to this. Okay. So I'm gonna roll this out. It's a lot easier for me to roll it. So I'm gonna finish rolling this out, and then we we'll come back, and then we're gonna take the pizza cutter. And cut the dough. Okay, everybody. I just rolled up all this. I managed to get my rolling pin. I still work. You know. But, um, these are the sheets I have. Let me just say that this is a workout rolling all these pasta sheets without a pasta maker, okay? So, I have. Ooh, I have these. You gotta make sure you have flour coated on all of them. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets. And what I'm gonna do now is 
take my pizza cutter. You want to keep bre uh, this bread flop on hand all the time. And I'm going to take this and cut these as thin as I can possibly get it. It's not going to be perfect, you know. But... Cut them pretty thin, or I can take and coat this. Is another way you can do it. You can take and put flour on this, and do this. So it'll be easier for you to uh, cut it, and you don't have to worry about the stick, and just don't push on it, and you just. Cut it. Try not to push on it with your fingers. You want to be, you know, handle it with care. Some of them might be real. Another way you can do this is if you own a cleaver, you can just cut it and it'll be easier. So, sprinkle this with flour. Cutting up my pasta, and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the finished product. And then we're gonna cook it. I need to get some drink. This is very tiring, but it's worth it. This is what I've been working with. All oh, how many sheets? Eight. Mm -hmm. And they're not easy, but I got some more on I just wanted y'all to see what this look like. Take me a slight break while I wait for this board to boil. And we're going to show y'all what it looks like when it's get done. first time on my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified for every upload be sure to join my homeschool support group on facebook royal ria dealers to like me on facebook go to ria maxine homeschool royalty to like my business page go to the ria deal gold canyon and while you're there click shop now to visit my website and make some purchases if you have any questions or video requests email us at homeschool royalty 2017 at outlook.com Thank you for your support, kings and queens. Have a blessed day.